test hi guys welcome to the new video in this video basically i want to share my thoughts what i think about the legend of Korra book 2 season 2 it's called spirits it's gonna be spoiler talk so i watched this uh, we watched basically this book i finished yesterday and it was pretty bad <laughs> uh, i like some parts in this fucking book some episodes are amazing okay i'm gonna share maybe what i like what i don't like basically i kind of get it what they try to do with the attitude of the fucking cora like in the beginning cause she is so cocky she is fucking annoying uh, in the first episodes like you know she dismissed tenzin and whatever at the first episode and she do this like some kind of bitchy way and it annoys me still because <laughs> i watched this series like for the first time like a couple months ago and now i rewatching this uh, whole series once again and i want to share my thoughts basically because i don't record these videos uh, when i watched this for the first time so i want to do this now uh yeah she is still kind of uh she have this kind of bitchy attitude at the first uh, two episodes three episodes then what a fucking surprise her uncle is evil so yeah i don't like the attitude of Korra, but i kind of get it what they try to do with this whole character arc because i saw whole show basically so i kind of get it but i don't know they can handle they should handle this a little bit better uh, in my opinion but yeah i don't like attitude of Korra. of course i don't like the villain the villain is kind of weak this unolak his fucking uh, her fucking Mm, uncle he's working with this evil spirit this kind of vatu or whatever it's called so it's maybe we're gonna see in this trailer no we don't see this fucking spirit or maybe no this is fucking one uh, so yeah i don't like the villain and of course it's gonna be revealed in the season three like he was in the fucking uh red lotus yes he was working with the red lotus or whatever so i kind of get it what they try to do what they try to fucking write with this character but i don't know he's so kind of cold he's this kind of one note kind of villain okay if in the season one the amon was very mysterious and very fucking you know ballsy and cool this fucking villain is like lame it's like very like one note if that makes sense he don't have this kind of emotion behind him but i don't know if yeah sh he should be the villain and this fucking vato should be the villain so uh, i don't know they should write this unolak a, a little bit better they, but whatever so i i am not big fan of the villain i am not big fan of the attitude of Ilkora. and but and i don't like the ending <laughs> the ending i still don't get it what is going on with this fucking blue giant cora to be honest because when i first uh, watched this fucking series it was stupid and once again it's a little bit very stupid too because <laughs> she just go to the tree i don't like the last episode basically i am okay with you know killing this kind of past lives okay i am not you know like oh why you killing ink and why you kill all avatars i don't okay they have some consequences okay her action have some consequences so it's kind of good but i don't get it what it's going on with she's just turned into fucking giant blue spirit or whatever and she just beat the shit out of this fucking vato it's like stupid she just go to the tree okay at the last episode and uh, she just turned to this fucking blue giant and uh, she just beat the shit out of this evil spirit and she just bent the spirit uh, you know uno vato or whatever it's called and that's it happy ending and she just opened the portals it's kind of stupid like come on it's very easy like how she do this I don't know she just entered this kind of cosmic statue or whatever i don't kind of get what is going on with this kind of because she wasn't very in tune in the season one with the spirits she just go i kind of get it with the i i roy yes 
in the spirit world and she was this little child it was amazing episode yes it's still great uh, but she just discovered her spirituality and now she is the master of spirits like she can turn into blue giant i don't kind of get it this kind of stuff so i don't like i am not big fan of that but the rest of this fucking uh, season was great in my opinion yeah i don't like even the relationship <laughs> a little bit it's getting annoying a little bit like mako kissed uh, asami kissed mako and uh, it's i know they are teenagers but come on it's kind of stupid so yeah this asami character she's pretty <laughs> whatever everyone is pretty in the show but yeah i am not big fan of the relationship of the beginning of attitude of the Korra, and i am not big fan of the fucking uh how to say of of the blue giant of the ending like but rest of the season the beginnings i think the beginnings are one of the best content in avatar ever <laughs> this one character is fucking the best not the best but one of the best stories you know in cartoons seriously this is so good so fucking good we got some backstory of it with the lion turtles and another spiritual side and i'm a little bit confused i kind of get what they try to do but you know they enter the spirit world or whatever in Korra the spirit world looks different in the last airbender uh, the spirits looks different yes and in one era the spirits looks different so i know they evolving or whatever the spirit world is kind of evolving so this is the idea it's a little bit confusing but yeah like i said the action amazing i love the uh, scene with tenzin just ink uh seeing tenzin for uh tenzin seeing the ink uh, for the last time yes like he was talking like i am not reflection of my father whatever great lessons okay great life lessons in this season but of course with the iro yes whole fucking you know turning to this child cora great stuff amazing lesson this is very i don't want to say simple lessons because they are good lessons okay good life lessons behind this so i think the beginnings and the iro episodes and the i think the guide episode uh, one before iro episode great even the i think the harmonic convergence or whatever it's called this episode like the this evil spirit just get released it was great but I don't know something it's not freaking li right like this this guy is not very good villain uh, the ending is kind of confusing what is going on with this blue fucking spirit Korra I kind of get it what this Janora is because in the season three of course she got this kind of power to project herself into fucking spiritual stupid whatever <laughs> spirit is yes? not stupid but spirit but uh, i don't get it with this blue giant maybe i don't uh, understand this correctly but uh, one story like i said amazing beginning episodes this civil war and whatever it was great to to see cora you know reunited with their fucking parents it's great you know build out more drama but I know her attitude at the beginning is a little bit too cocky in my opinion because uh, she gets taken away her bending by Amon and uh, at the first season and she got uh, got this bending very quickly back and maybe that's why she is very cocky like yeah I beat Amon or whatever but I don't know they she should be a little bit more humble or more respectful she was a little bit too bitchy in my opinion but i kind of get it they are riding this like arc like she is bitch now she re realized this and in the next season she is more like proper avatar yes she is more balanced out but yeah uh, eight out of ten the first season was better in my opinion the first season was more fun uh, and i think the whole crew is kind of separated 
maybe in the first episodes they are together i like the twins the twins at the first time watching i i i wasn't big fan of the twins this fucking eska and desna but we watching this yeah i like them more <laughs> now this those twins yes uh, with the bowling and the romance it was funny the bowling romance it was a little bit funny so i like this kind of stuff the Varric story was hmm, I don't know. I like Varric, of course. Varric is a good character, and Julie, Julie is uh, cool too. But uh, I don't know. They should do. I may be expecting too much of K from this season because they they have such a fucking you know level of avatar the last airbender kind of value or maybe this is some kind of nostalgia because there are episodes in last airbender they are not you know 10 out of 10 too but i don't know overall feeling of the season was like 8 out of 10 it wasn't bad the beginning saved the episode the iro episodes the uh, fight scenes of course and even the civil war parts of the episodes was great you know they touched some good problems and good lessons uh, life lessons so i kind of like this bolin became a movie star it's it's like yeah there is no arc for him you know like in this whole series like okay he not becoming the star uh from the in the last season so i i don't get it maybe they threw this kind of stuff like yeah he gonna be this movie star because we don't have to do much with him or whatever i don't know something is not clicking right the first season was more clicking if that makes sense this season is not bad of course the there are so many shows like you know they wish they are that good <laughs> look at this fucking water it looks amazing uh but yeah in this kind of standard the last airbender kind of standards it's something not clicking right it's almost like i don't want to say season one of avatar i want to compare like yeah season one the beginning uh, the first episodes it's not kind of it's fun but it's not i don't i don't know how to say balance out or whatever so it's all it's this season is not balanced out in my opinion but it's like i said the tens and stuff like he grew like he tried to be this fine fucking ink but he is not he relies in this it's good great too uh with this kaya and bumi uh his brother and sister great stuff too i like their dynamic it's fun uh, they are more balanced out but this kind of Varric story and this stuff and this stuff is like mishmash, <laughs> you know, mishmash. And it's not like bad, but it's like, uh, it's not, you know, like, holy fuck, great storytelling, if that makes sense. It's kind of fun, but it's not great. So, yeah, 8 out of 10. This is my thoughts on the season 2. Uh, like I said, I don't have problem with killing the past lives you know it must be some consequences with the character i like this like there are some consequences but i don't get it this blue giant cora and uh, what else this crime story with the varic it was fun too but you get the idea it's fun but it's not a great storytelling like in avatar you know like season two like you you can't you know see the next stuff it's like okay it's, it was great i'm gonna check it out because you create avatar and it's great but i you if you watch this season you get this kind of feeling uh, in my opinion you are not very hyped for the next one like you must see the next one if that makes sense uh, you're gonna die uh, you're gonna kill someone to, <laughs> to see the next one yes it was like fun funny uh, fun uh, enjoyable season but I think the weakest one for the whole fucking series. So yeah, this is my thoughts. Maybe I missed something because this is not scripted. Uh, see you on the next video, guys.